in this clip, we will verify the facts in the addition table using our hands as a calculator. I want to add 5 plus 6. Closed fists, five closed fingers represents five. So I don't have to do anything to my right hand. This represents five. And when I start my count, I'm going to count starting at six. So there it is. Five and six. One extended finger. So the one's place is a one. In other words, 5 and 6 are 11. 5 and 7. Well, there's 6. And this represents 7. So now I have two extended fingers in my left hand. 5 and 7 are 12. 5 and 8. I have 6, 7, and then the thumb makes eight. Now I have three fingers extended on my left hand, none on my right hand, so five and eight is thirteen. Five and nine, six, seven, eight, and then we close the thumb and raise these two fingers so I have four extended fingers, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and nine are 14. Six and six. Again, I'm going to count, starting with my right hand, this is already 5, so there's a 6. And then go to my left hand, and this represents 6. So there's two extended fingers, so 6 and 6 is 12. 6 and 7. Here's 6, 7. Three extended fingers, so six and seven are thirteen. Six and eight. Here's six, seven, eight. These are closed. Four extended fingers, three and one. So six and eight are fourteen. Finally, six and nine which is the largest basic number. Close the thumb and raise these two last fingers, uh, the ring finger and the pinky. So I have a four and one is five. So six and nine are 15. Seven and seven. Start with the closed fist again. My right hand, I'm going to say six, seven. In my left hand, I'm going to say six, raise a finger, seven. Raise two fingers. So I have two fingers in each hand extended. 2 and 2 is 4, so 7 and 7 is 14. 7 and 8. 6, 7, 8. Thumb. There it is. So I have 3 extended fingers here and 2 here, and that's 5. 3 and 2 is 5. 7 and 8 is 15. seven and nine. I'm going to raise these two fingers to get nine and close the thumb. 
So this represents 6, 7, 8, 9. This is still a 7. So I have 4 and 2 is 6. So 7 and 9 are 16. 8 and 8. Again, we'll start with two, two closed fists. All fingers closed. This represents 6, 7, and I have to bring that thumb up and keep these fingers closed. So I have three extended fingers on my right, and I'll count 6, 7, and 8. Three extended fingers on my left, 3 and 3 is 6, so 8 and 8 are 16. 8 and 9. 6, 7, 8, that represents 8. For 9, I'm going to raise these two fingers and close this one, close the thumb. Six, seven, eight, nine. Four extended fingers. Three extended fingers, that's seven. So eight and nine are 17. That's it with the eights. So let's try nine and nine, that's the last one. Okay, here's eight. Raise these two fingers and close this one. Close the thumb. So I have four fingers extended, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need four fingers extended here, nine and nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So 4 and 4 is 8, so 9 and 9 is 18. This is a summary of the addition table. Two closed fists represent 5 and 5, that's 10. This left hand re represents 5, right hand this is 6, 5 and 6, 1 extended finger, that's 11, 5 and 7, 2 extended fingers, that's 12. Count the extended fingers to get the 1's place, and then put a 1 in for the 10's place, in every case, because the smallest 2 digit sum is 10, and the largest is 18. So if we want 6 and 7, left hand represents 6, 1 extended finger, right hand represents two, 6 and 7, so 6, that's 3 extended fingers, so 6 and 7 is 13. What about 7 and 8? 2 extended fingers on the left, 6, 7. Three extended fingers on the right, six, seven, eight. So seven and eight, this is five extended fingers when you add them, three and two. Seven and eight are 15. What about eight and nine? Here's six, seven, eight. Three extended fingers on the left hand. Nine is six, seven, eight, nine, four extended fingers on the right hand, and eight and nine will then be four and three, eight and nine will be 17. So there it is, the facts in the addition table for the sums, and those sums are going to be between 10 and 18. Now, this clip is a summary of hands as a calculator, wherein we use our hands to verify the facts in the addition and multiplication table.
memorizing abstract facts that cannot be visualized is the most difficult memorization possible. The advantage of using your hands as a calculator, there are two advantages. One, the hands provide a, a readily available visual object that can form number sums and number products. The second advantage is the hands are available at any time or any place to do the calculations, of course, once the student learns the procedures. We have, we have taught four procedures in, uh, for multiplication. They are um, T5, Trachtenberg 5, Trachtenberg 6, Visual 9 for multiplying by 9, and Tense Complement Multiplication. And we get most of the numbers in the um, multiplication table. Using our hands for addition, we get all the facts in the addition table. This is the final clip in the series um, Hands as a Calculator. And again, it is much easier for a student to verify the facts in the addition and the multiplication table using their hands as a calculator than it is to rote memorize those facts. And the other advantage of hand calculation is the hands are readily available at all times to do the calculation if recall fails. So you only have to learn essentially four procedures, five, Trachtenberg five and six, visual nine, and then tense complement multiplication.